Hello and welcome to a new video about my load cell, about my scale. Now I finished the assembly. Huh? Look at that. Printed out quite a lot of stuff. And this is how it turned out. Mm, this is how it turned out. Uh, well, what we've got, we have the, the place to put the load. I did not make it round because uh, I'm uh, lacking the tools. So I made it like a stop sign. Yeah. There's the display. Mm. Display, good with, with uh, display cover and so on. Here's the power button. And actually that's it. On the, on the bottom, we do have here the battery case. Inside the battery case. On battery, <laughs> what a surprise! Eh? So they fit in here. This turned out. I had to change a little bit here because they were too close to the to the to the cover. So this did not really work out. So I printed a new. But I had to change some things anyway. I will show you. I'll make a tear down because right now I am not sure if this is working or not. Hmm. Close the cover. Let's open this stuff. Let's let's open this. I'm able to show you. I think it looks really professional. I hope this working also. <laughs> These are the mounting screws for the for the load cell and this is the screw where we can adjust the spring the loads to the load cell, the spring, the support spring. Open. Whoop. Yeah, this is how it looks like. All right. Looking pretty neat. Uh, this is right now not connected. This comes from the battery. This is the DC-DC converter. The battery supplies, uh, it is a nickel metal hybrid accumulators. So they have around 2.4 volts yeah, if they are charged. But 1, 1 1.2 and 2, 2.4. I have made a switch here. And here is a DC-DC converter, step-up converter, that we are going from this 2.4 volt to 5 volt. I have already adjusted this with this potentiometer. So actually, if I plug this in here and turn it on, we should see... Huh? The last program should still run. Hind scale. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and there is already load. If a load. All right. This is working. All right. This is working. One. This plus line goes to the to the USB. I just cut the USB wire. Huh? Just cut this USB wire. It had surprisingly good quality, I must say. Because this is even shielded, and there are these four wires inside: uh, red plus, black minus, and there's green and white. This is a very usual way of USB for the data lines. Yeah, this this is how a USB cable looks looks uh, looks inside. Yeah. yeah, shielding, and in in this shielding, we do have those wires. Yeah. And you can see, or maybe you cannot, but I can tell you uh, the red and the and the red and the uh, black ones they are bigger because they are for power supply, and those two they are the data lines. Uh, these are where 
but I don't need the data line. So I just use the, the black and the red one for power supply this. Then I've put another minus line here because I put also here, here a second line to here. Yeah? I want to use uh, an analog input to measure the voltage of the, of the, ooh, look, 1.54 grams. Ooh, what was happening? No, we'll see. Uh, uh, that I can measure the battery voltage and say, okay, please replace it. And the rest is just, this is the display, these two plugs is the display. Uh, these down here, these four are the eight ADC, which is connected to the load cell. And those is the blue one is ground. Then this, this blue and gray one are the, the reset button. It's going to D11, yeah, D11. And this is the battery voltage. It's going to A0. Right. So what we've got to do is that we are coding this stuff now. Huh? Oh, this is a little bit short, maybe. Uh, we are coding this stuff now. Place this here again. That we can put something on for testing reasons. Oh. All right. All right. Yeah. Next step. Add those stuffs out this new functionality. All right. Will be next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.